Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Oh, great. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Okay, so it is my choice as to whether or not this species lives or dies. Let's talk about things a little bit. What are your plans? You gonna have a good summer? If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. All right, so... As I thought, the uh, the Paragon choice here seems to be to, to let her go. And the renegade would be to kill her. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to let her go. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards. So maybe you don't get it. No. Are we any better if we kill them all? Do what you want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. Yeah, we'll see about that, Rex. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Great. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. Possibly. I didn't save the Thorian, but only I saved the Rachni. And down goes the Asari. Why'd they make her flop like that? And I got an achievement. There is seemingly something bad going on around here, but I'm going to start looting. Because that is what I am good for. Thoughts? Apparently no new thoughts. I hate the cold. And no new thoughts from you either. All right, doesn't look like there's going to be too much that I can do around here, but I would figure there would be a, at least one or two things I could loot. There we go. They're down here in the middle. There we go. So that should be good. Am I getting close to the limit here? Gotta be get, starting to get close again. Come on, let me through. Three, two, there we go. Just enough time. They spread those things out quite well. But I was able to make it through. It, that was, yeah, like I said, kind of unexpected. I did not imagine that I would be fighting her so quickly. I had anticipated at least a little bit more of a warning before we got up to Benezia, but I guess not. And so, one of my favorite characters, well, to be honest, I, I could not see her as Benezia because one of my favorite characters was voicing her. Uh, Deanna Troy was all I could see when I was talking to her. 909 is now sealed, but 424 is open. 
Right to the hot labs. They don't want me to go back to the lab. I'm probably gonna have to kill all the guards and stuff there. Uh, I didn't do some of the things though because I was too busy with other things. Why was there a loading screen? Who is that? Yaroslav Tartakovsky. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. I'm not going to get into the structure of Rachni reproduction here. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No. I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> okay, so... I say I would meet him at the end. I am uh, not entirely sure that I want to do that just yet. I want to do... I, I do want to see if I can do a couple of the seeming side quests that I could do before. Really? So much for that. Apparently, I am unable to help those people in the doctor's office, which was what I had in mind. And I'm going to need to do the purge, like, immediately. Apparently, I need to talk to Mira to get this done. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Of course it is. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. No. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. Uh, she's dead. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. All right, let's do it. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. 500 meters is a we long distance. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. Yeah, that'd be... That is advisable for all systems within this facility. All right, let's do it. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. All right. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. So, 
Yeah, I still deal with hot labs. I still wanted to, you know, deal with like the quarantine thing, talk to Ventralis. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that now. I was just trying to explore, and next thing I know, I found Benezia. <laughs> I thought she was in the hot labs, but she wasn't. She was in the maintenance wing. I should have, I should have known. I am feeling not so well. What's purge do? How do I trigger it? How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira destruct. How did we not see that coming? Kill them all. Yeah, I'm aware of what I need to do with the Ragnar. Is it just the one? It's dead. You and your singularity. Like, it doesn't help. Why am I leveling that up? <laughs> All right. Wait, can I, so how do I get the code? Oh, they're on his body. <laughs> of course they are, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> why are they on him? Why did he write it down? Because I know all my passwords are written down on a post-it note inside my wallet. Like, what the hell? No. Online. How can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega Local Execution. Verify. Code Omega Execution in 120 seconds. Okay. Oh, great. Now they're all outside waiting for me. Oh, we got we got the little guys and I'm overheated. I'm gonna need you guys to do a little bit of work for me. All right, can I activate that? Let's just start shooting away. And I got another level out of that. You guys, you guys are alive. It's a lot easier to deal with them from here. Are they just coming in onslaughts? Like, I don't, do I need to run for it? Shouldn't I need to run for it here? Where the hell are they? They're like all around me. I still got a minute to spare, it looks like. Get me the hell out of here. This should take me 500 meters away, yes? Journal? Or it could have blow up way before time. I did it! All right, mission is complete. Depart uh, the rift station, but I'm gonna... Oh, nope, I killed the quarantine guys. Given the chaos caused by your breaking into the secret labs, you no longer have time to deal with this. <laughs> my bad. I wanted to. My my heart was in the right place, but uh, they they stopped that. But because I went and saw Benezia, and that was too important for me to reload a save after I saw her. Or at least that was my thinking about it. I can go this way though. What's this way? This was like, did, this was not available to me. Oh, this is uh, where Venezia was. So yes, it, it was available to me. And once I saw her, that was it. And yeah, I wasn't gonna reload that, so. So much for uh, side quests on Novaria. At least with Pharos, they gave me the option. I was still exploring. I felt like there was still like half that facility I didn't look at. I felt like I went through that way too quickly, but. Like I said, I was still exploring. All right, we're going to get out of here. We did it. Hooray. That was great. And, like, she came with a retinue of, like, what? Ten Asari and, like, dozen Geth? And we just automatically go back to the Normandy? We do. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Not so fast. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. 
Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Damn it, Ashley, I'm trying to seduce her. <laughs> That's the look that I'm giving her right now, as it turns out. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. It's not okay. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Oh, that was... Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? That was the shortest debriefing ever. <laughs> patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? Yep. And then released the Queen? Yep. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? They won't. She told me it'd be fine. This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. That might be a little strong. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Dr. Tassoni. Commander? Oh shit! We need to talk. The three of us. No! This is a rather awkward situation. Shit! I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. I'm just trying to figure out where I stand. Shit! No, 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 no! I need to quick save. Um. Not now, Linko? <laughs> Will that work? I, I, I want, I want, what I want to do is like quick save and, and and then do one and then quick save and then do the other um will not now work this isn't the time to talk about this i disagree shit i may not know much about human relationships but i understand the concept of jealousy i'm not jealous i'm confused I and mean, i thought we had something ma'am I, I didn't realize that you were a well that you prefer other women I am not exactly a woman, Lieutenant. My species only has one gender. Yeah, but you look... All right, Shepard. Make a choice. If you're not serious about me, it'll hurt, but I'll get over it. But until you tell me, I can't get over it. Can I really, like, not get out of this? Fuck. All right, so my plan was... Uh, well, I'm, I'm told that I can't do both. That if I do both, I kind of get out of both of them. So, my plan was originally to do Caden first and then reload the save and then do Liara, which would have been official, but apparently they're not going to let me do that. Uh, I'm sorry, Caden. As a result, that they're kind of forcing my hand here and I haven't saved in a long time. I'm, I'm going to go with Liara here and I might reload a save. God, I haven't done a hard save in forever. I'll have to see what I can do, but for the time being, we're going to go with Liara. I never meant for you to get hurt, but Liara is the one I really care about. I'll be fine, Commander. We're just friends. I understand. I hope things work out for you, too. I've got a lot of work to do, Commander. Mission reports, that kind of thing. You know how it is. So, Liara. I feel bad for him, Shepard. I hope he'll be okay. Uh, I'll have to see if it's recoverable from this point, uh, and maybe I can do something from there, but if not, I might have to reload an old quick save and go through all that again, which I might do. I'll go talk with him in a while. Give him a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I am sorry you were put in this position, but I'm glad you chose me. Oh, I'm glad too. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation yeah I'm pretty sure that Liara was kind of the consensus choice from the fan so I went with her and I, I get Paragon out of that I don't know exactly what I did to get Paragon hopefully it wasn't choosing Liara over Gaiden which was the last thing that happened all right we'll head out a little bit here well, I thought there was going to be a cutscene out here, but apparently there is not. So now that I have probably made my choice, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Mass Effect. I've been Molly Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by the that kind of woman, Mariah Shepard. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.